Hello there guys, I have an absolutely stunning video here for you today based on the AS exam mood and atmosphere. A really, really excellent piece of work with some stunning starting point imagery. Um, really, really crisp, really clear and just really well organised. In this first image here, what you can see is an image of a mind map, which is really important for showing um, early ideas and what your intentions are in an exam. As we're moving forward through the pages, you can see more sort of visual mood boards and explanations of images in the work before going straight into that first starting point set. A really amazing set of work. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see from the image itself on the YouTube video, but if you look carefully, you'll be able to see how amazing some of these shots are. Um, this next page uh, here is showing again the next set, uh, and the next set, and the next set, all based around mood and atmosphere, all using still life or portraiture in some sort of way to address the main themes. Just pausing on this page here, it's really, really crucial, guys, that you show your understanding. And it's really, really important that you analyse images. Don't just think that the visual is going to do it. With it being A-level, you've got to show an advanced understanding. So please make sure you think carefully about how you're going to explain yourself and then what you're going to do to develop the set on throughout the rest of the exam. Um, these next pages that are just following on now are showing then the use of quite a sophisticated prop, um, which is a large paper head. And then this one here is again still lives. Uh, just pausing on this page, these were actually quite humorous and whimsical illustrations that were made up of uh, hazelnuts that were arranged in unusual ways. And then white pen was then used to create other little sort of anecdotal statements and things around the edge. If you look closely, you can see the artist link that they were supporting there. This next page, really great to have these in and amongst your evidence that just show some of your best images and then four little sort of like variations, black and white, sepia, an artist connection and a little close up crop. Really great for just showing what you can do with simple format changes with your images. Again, the same thing on this next page here and it's very important there to move into then intentional developments. Don't just do things conventionally, layering, all that sort of stuff. It's important that you think meaningfully about what you do for a final outcome. And these pages that are on the screen in front of you are just showing basically those ideas there. The intentional sort of like mixes and merges of those images that were then carried out on the student's exam day. Uh, one of my favourite ones, uh, the things that she did was that she took the images she'd photographed, cropped them to a circular format, reprinted them so it was like the artist you can see on the page, and then she used then elements um, and objects that related directly to the image in the next photo she took, just moving it on forward and just sort of like bringing it just to a more sophisticated outcome than if she would have just left it as it was. Um, then she got interested in grids and combinations of um, merging formats together before finally deciding on that the format was one of the ways that she then wanted to develop the ideas, which were then later altered and changed into colorways and color theory, similar to the little books that you get when you're choosing your paint in the hardware shops or B&Q, for instance. The colorways then led on to other developments which were then combined with the images that she processed and cropped into the different grids um, all of which were then sort of like you know taken to quite a sophisticated level and combined them with words associated with those colors so similar to what designers would do and similar to that sort of whether it was interior design or branding or marketing it's very important that you have a color scheme you have words associated with your ideas and some cracking images then to go with it and just as the video is drawing to a close here, some great ideas shown on the right hand side, just sketching out possible ideas. Because don't forget, guys, even though it's photography, you have to show that drawing of ideas and your planning and intentions. And the last few pages here are just showing some of the other experimentations that were done on the exam days. And then a little final piece that was made, which was a concertina of all of the best um, colorways and designs just combined into a neatly packaged concertina. So that acted as the final piece, um, which was supported by quite sophisticated developments of really, really excellent starting point images. I hope this helps, guys. Any uh, questions or queries, please message me through YouTube. Thanks. Bye.